youtubers welcome to my channel try it yourself and today's project is uh, front brakes on Ford Focus 2014 and uh, if you're gonna stick around and you have a problem like that you see this loose front bumper that's gonna be additional video just uh, probably gonna be link or something so just uh, if you have a problem like that you can check it out over there but before I start I'm gonna show you a few things my favorite favorite store um, Harbor Freight Tools bought this impact and um, the story is I looked uh, on the reviews what people say and uh, a lot of them actually say that uh, it's not strong enough to take the hub bolts to take the tire down and it turned out to be true well it cost me like uh, 20 maybe 30 dollars I don't remember I bought it a little bit ago used it once and it doesn't work so <laughs> uh, you know I already got all stretched out in my first project so obviously it's not going back but if you are looking for tools like that this uh, half inch drive impact uh, central pneumatic it's it's not good I mean <laughs> you get what you paid pretty much I mean I got a whole bunch of other stuff like this uh, air ratchet nice love it and same price about $20 but this impact uh, if you are working with tires you gotta look for something uh, for something much stronger than this because I got it on the highest setting it has four positions over here and well you're gonna see what it's gonna look like so basically what I'm what I'm what I'm using this thing I actually breaking it with a crowbar not crowbar I don't know what the pry bar whatever this uh, whatever don't even know that anyway I break the bolts with this tool and then just to take it you know pretty much just a toy not not a tool but just to see if I'm not lying I mean it has the forward or reverse over here push button uh, obviously I'm doing reverse make sure that it's on the highest position it's on four uh, it's 18 or actually a three-quarter inch socket okay Keep that in mind if you're looking for tools, don't get, get too excited for cheap price because that's what you're gonna get. This on the other hand, this is a very handy tool because you can gives you a lot of leverage, really easy to use, a lot better than uh, those wrenches that comes with a uh, with the vehicle but to do that what I do first uh, here's a jack I lift it up just a little bit so it's not sitting on the tire but now that I broke it now it can go all the way up See, tires loose now. Now we can use this little boy's tool. Oh, come on. Yeah, and in case you're wondering, I hold the thing and all of that stuff, so it's uh, it just, uh, I mean, it's, in my mind, half inch drive tool you gotta have some kind of power otherwise I mean what else you're gonna use I mean tires is like the pretty much first thing all right we got that I have this real nice set of actually pry bars from uh, 
Harbor Freight. That's the shorter size, so I could get through here. Uh, Right, so caliper retracts all the way inside when you get the new brake pads they're gonna be thicker so that's what you do before you take everything apart to take the caliper down there's a two bolts 18 millimeters one at the top and one right here uh, right there right there on the bottom so you take that down but keep in mind when you do that uh, to be very careful with your brake hose so what I usually do I keep this stand handy when I got it uh, unbolted I rest it on this thing or you could uh, actually the other way uh, through this hole like a bungee cord with hooks or something you know there's a few different ways you can do it but you do not let it hang on this hose because you're gonna damage and the older vehicle is the potentially more fragile this hose is I do the one on the bottom first Yes, it's not that easy to break, so I take a half inch drive. Gotta break it first. Yeah. With the leverage, probably have to do this at the top one as well. At this point, if you need to change a, a rotor, I mean, you just take a hammer and pretty much knock this thing off. It's loose right now, but in, in my case, I'm replacing brakes only. So, uh, just pop them. This is gonna be tricky because normally I don't take the whole caliper out but just with the bracket so yeah it's just perfect time see the, the thickness that left over here so it still did not ruin the rotor and you can go through the uh, through another set of the brake pads before you need to
the one on the inside actually thicker, but you cannot replace just one, you gotta do both. Uh, another thing is uh, every time you change the brakes, uh, brake pads, they try to sell you. See this little groove over here, a little shiny? That's how the brake pads slide, and they try to put over here, put in the little portion of grease but really that grease doesn't stay there long enough but if you feel more comfortable instead of buying those little packages cost like two dollars each for one time use you can buy a can of uh, stuff like this like high temp grease uh, just as good or maybe even better that you could uh, put in this grooves over here and uh, again until the water gonna flush this thing out again this this thing gonna last you pretty much forever so just an idea and um, on the brake pads um, I personally use AutoZone I mean not necessarily you have to but it just it was my first store I kind of got card with them and pretty much stuck with them but um, the cool thing uh, about uh, AutoZone compared to Ford dealer for example if you buy a brake pads it's a lifetime warranty like this one I bought a ceramic which is they have a basic gold and elite so I got elite because this is my daughter's car and should last a lot longer the price is not that uh, much different but doesn't matter what kind of you buy basic elite or gold whatever they all uh, a lifetime warranty so if you are gonna keep the car that you change in this and you want to save some money and you don't mind you know changing these brakes instead of you know like 70,000 miles you can go 50 40 whatever you know cost is going to be the same you can save that much but that's the reason I go with AutoZone uh, I think O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto Parts probably have the same thing but uh, this is one of the stuff um, uh, that I do buy brake pads from AutoZone instead of Ford dealer so and over here as you can see it it's really easy you're not gonna be able to somehow put the wrong one on the on the wrong spot because this one with the spring actually goes inside the caliper so gonna be tricky actually I don't know if there's some kind of cap over here normally you could just take this bracket out so slide it in just like that side
well. It's on now. Slide it back up. the bolt at the top well it's not that bad actually again normally on uh, on other models this is the first time I, I saw it like this But normally where this cap is over here, there is a bolt or the knot, whatever. And you can just take this uh, bolt out of the top one and the bottom. You don't take, I normally don't take the whole caliper and take this part with the spring. But this way, I don't know, it's actually, um, maybe even easier like that. So now when I got it back, the brake pads inside uh, start this bolt at the top with the hand by hand same thing on the bottom so you wouldn't mess up the um, thread and when it started then you can take wrench and just tighten up with the wrench it's nice and tight there you go that's that's how you do brakes I mean put the tire back up lug nuts or any bolt and knot you always start by hand to that part see the tire you don't want to tie it up the tire when it's actually loose to mess up transmission you go you take your jack just a little bit down just very slowly when when the tire just touch and see and it's not moving at all so now you can take this man's tool and make sure the tires the lug nuts are all tight so you don't lose the tire on the road
that's it. And that's how you do front brakes on the Ford Focus 2014. If you for some reason cannot take this bolt to take the whole caliper out, there is actually a way to do it the old way. Uh, over here at the top, just remove this plastic cap. This rubber look like a rubber sleeve or something holding over here and the plastic cap covering over here and inside there it's a seven millimeter Allen wrench so you actually can remove just this part just the just the part over here just a bracket with the uh, brake pads without removing the whole caliper out so that's probably would be the easiest way but I already this cap popped on me when I already finished the other side. If this video was a little bit useful for you, don't forget, don't forget to put a like for me and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Good luck.